I applied to do architecture because I really liked the art and maths element that it combined, because um, those were my favourite subjects at school. I really liked the way the course at Cambridge um, combined theory and practice. There's a nice way that they work together so that the history and theory can inform the studio work. I think what makes uh, studying architecture in Cambridge special is the size of the course. We usually only have maybe 40 students per year, which means every student gets very individual attention. We are interested that students become the kind of designer that can engage with uh, broader questions about the role of architecture in society. The architecture course in Cambridge involves design teaching, studio work which is taught by practicing architects who are visiting from London, and then the lecture courses in construction, environment and structures, and history and theory. My favourite experience was when in first year we went to Naples and it was a really nice opportunity to experience the city together as a studio. The tutors went as well, the studio tutors. You don't just mix with other students, you actually mix with the staff as well and it's a really friendly environment and it just helps kind of bond everyone within the department together. 60% of the course is based around studio work, so that's modelling, drawing, designing proposal to go with the site brief. We have a bandsaw, laser cutters, all sorts of things you need for basically most woodwork. We try to encourage all the students to build big models and not only to work with digital uh, tools. The studio is really huge and crazy and quite a lot unto itself. It's got first year, second year and third year in. That's really interesting because you can just draw from different people and different people's ideas. And it's really good socialising as well. So I'm the ArcSop president, so that's Cambridge University's Architecture Society. Um, we put on lots of like club nights, um, life drawing, other really cool things. The typical week would involve two studio days and then on the other three days of the week you'll have lectures and then on top of that supervisions which go with the lectures. There's usually about two or three people per supervisor, um, so they're there to answer any questions and if you want to explore something a bit further in depth then they're happy to answer that as well. Of course graduate architects don't just go into architecture, they go into many careers. They could work in sort of product design, uh, stage design, theatre design, but some, some of our students also go to work in the real estate sector and in planning offices, for example. I'd like to work at an, in an architecture practice for a year or two and then continue with my masters. Architecture is definitely like at the top of my list, but I'm also thinking of advertising, kind of going to film, but also looking at like lots of writing options. My advice to anybody thinking of applying would be to put together a very interesting, diverse portfolio. This should consist of at least 20 or 30 pieces of work in a range of media, including examples of 3D work. I would recommend visiting buildings, keeping a sketchbook and just observing your everyday environment. This is very important for architects because in their practice they will be contributing to the construction of the world in which we live. My message to anyone thinking about applying is to definitely go for it and apply. Just try and get the guts to just apply, it's a great place to be. From when I applied to now, my opinion of what I like in architecture has completely changed and that's the point of kind of coming to learn, you get a new perspective on things.